I'm Captain Brian O'Keefe of the Manchester Police Department. I'd like to welcome you to police headquarters. Behind me, we have the Assistant Chief of Police, Ryan Grant, Chief of Police, Carlo Capano, Senior Attorney General, Ben Agati, New Hampshire State Police Sergeant, Matt Amatucci, and Attorney General, Scott Chase. Bear in mind, most of us have been up for over 24 hours right now. We're up here to give you a brief statement to let you know what's going on. And up first, I'm going to introduce Ben Agati. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. A very early good morning, everybody. Um, uh, we only have a brief amount of time with you this morning, so what we want to do is get you information as quick as we can. Uh, New Hampshire Attorney General Gordon J. McDonald, along with New Hampshire State Police Colonel Christopher Wagner and Manchester Police Chief Carlo Capano, are announcing that there is an officer-involved shooting in Manchester, New Hampshire yesterday at the Quality Inn on John E. Divine Drive. A Mr. Stephen Marshall, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, last name M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L, age 51, of Manchester, engaged with Manchester police officers and DEA agents at the rear of the hotel with a gun in his hand at approximately 7.30 p.m. yesterday evening. Mr. Marshall suffered gunshot wounds, was transported to the Elliott Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. An autopsy is scheduled for later on this morning at the office of the chief medical examiner. The officer-involved incident is being investigated, or excuse me, a portion of this incident was captured on video. An officer from the Manchester Police Department and one agent from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration discharged their weapons. No officers have been physically injured. The officer-involved incident is being investigated by the Attorney General's Office in conjunction with the New Hampshire State Police Major Crime Unit. Now, the exact circumstances surrounding the officer and the agent's discharge of their weapons remains under an active investigation at this time. Pursuant to protocols, the Manchester police officer is currently on administrative leave, and the name of the officer and the agent are being withheld pending their interviews, which are expected to take place as soon as possible. Currently, there are two individuals barricaded in a first floor room of the hotel. Negotiators are continuing to try to make contact with these individuals inside as we speak. Now, this is an unfolding investigation. Additional information will be provided as soon as possible while still protecting the integrity of the investigation. If anyone out there has any information about this event, they are asked to call Sergeant Matt Amatucci of the New Hampshire State Police Major Crime Unit at 603-419. 8291. Again, this is an unfolding investigation and additional information will be provided as soon as it's possible. Uh, at this time, I'd like to turn the podium over to Manchester Police Chief Carlo Capano. Good morning. So I can't provide you with too much information right now. I can tell you that this is a uh, very active and fluid investigation and scene that we're dealing with right now. I can tell you that Manchester police officers were um, lack of a better term, they were attacked tonight. It's something that we can't tolerate, something that we're not going to tolerate. Um, Manchester SWAT officers have been on scene for several hours now. They've been working diligently and they've been extremely patient and their professionalism is shining through. We hope for a um, resolution soon with this, but we can't guarantee that. We've been working uh, very diligently over the past several hours to bring this to a safe and successful resolution, and we're going to continue to do so until we are able to do that. Please keep in mind the officers that are out there that are putting their lives on the line. They're out there protecting this community. They have families at home, wives, children that are worried about them, and they've been taking gunfire since about 7.30 last night. These officers have been uh, doing an incredible job, and I can't be more proud of them as a chief of police here. South Willow Street right now, you're gonna have some delays. I'd ask the community to just be patient with us. The uh, South Willow Street area, along with John Devine, that's gonna have some uh, rerouting areas. We're working on that. We'll open that up as soon as we're able to do so. But again, I can't reiterate enough that this type of behavior we cannot and we will not tolerate when we have officers that are being shot at in an investigation like this. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Folks, right now we're going to conclude this quick press conference, and what we'll do is we hope to plan to have something sometime in the very near future. It really dictates when this uh, comes to a quick resolve. Can you just give us an idea of how often there has been gunfire? We're, we're, we're not taking any questions, so that concludes it. Thank you.
confirm that the highway exits are closed in that area? We didn't see that on the way up. I, I would just suggest that uh, I'll sit. I would just suggest that uh, follow our Nixle account. I've been putting updates out periodically. So I would say March Ave, John Devine, and South Willow Street are some of the main areas to stay away from. And it does have an adverse effect for the exits, the South Willow Street ex exits off of uh, I-293, both east and west. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank All right, thank you. As you just heard here, the uh, exit remains closed this morning due to this ongoing standoff situation. We just heard from uh, Senior Assistant Attorney General Ben Agati there saying that there was an officer-involved shooting about 7.30 last night. A man by the name of Stephen Marshall, 51 years old, out of Manchester, was exiting the hotel. There was gunfire there from Manchester police and DEA agents again at about 7.30 last night. And they say that that man suffered a gunshot wounds, was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. And that is why the Attorney General's office is involved in this uh, investigation at this point, which continues to unfold. Uh, you just heard from the police chief here in Manchester saying his officers were attacked last night uh, by these individuals. At this point, he says there are two subjects that remain barricaded inside a first floor hotel room at that Quality Inn on uh, John Devine Drive there. Two people remain barricaded inside that hotel room there uh, on Manchester. Uh, they have exchanged gunfire throughout the night. And uh, that situation continues to unfold, though, again, though, we're hearing that 51-year-old Stephen Marshall out of Manchester shot and killed uh, by police last night. Aaron, back to you.